uh, one of my biggest mistakes in starting Saxby's was I started to franchise almost from the from day one. The key to franchising is that you've ironed out your industry, your model, your brand so much so that when people invest their hard earned hard earned dollars into your franchise system, you can give them the tools and the training and the support necessary to run their business successfully because you've done it successfully in some instances and unsuccessfully in others. When you start franchising from day one and you don't really know what you're doing, that's not a good way to be able to grow the business. And it took me, unfortunately, a long time to be able to figure out that franchising wasn't the right way for us to grow. So I get asked by people all the time, Nick, here's my business plan. Here's the industry that I want to be in. I'm hoping I can open this first one and in three months I'll be able to start franchising. And I'm like, you're about to hear an answer, which is the complete opposite of what you think that you're going to hear, which is I'm going to tell you, do not do that. And I'm telling you, do not do that because that's what I did. And it was not a smart decision. You've got to operate, operate, operate. You've got to make mistakes, make more mistakes, essentially make more mistakes, but be able to figure out how to innovate around those mistakes so that your model becomes great. That's unit number one. And then I encourage you to open up number two and, and leverage all those mistakes you made to ensure you don't make them in number two. So hopefully number one gets profitable after a year, maybe two years. Raise the bar significant, significantly for, for number two. So say, hey, maybe in my first month or my first quarter, I can get profitable, profitable there because I parlayed the, all my experience in the first one into the second one. Then open up a third one. Open up the third one. That should be your model at that point where, hey, you might be able to actually open up profitable from day one. Then you might actually have a model that you can start to franchise. But you're going to be at a really interesting place where, where Saxby's is right now. You may not have to. You know, the first one's throwing off cash. The second one's throwing off cash. The third one's really starting to throw off cash. Why franchise at that point? You know, like why go out and franchise? If you're like, hey, I want to grow this thing really, really rapidly. And I love the idea of partnering with other entrepreneurs. Great. Now you've got the basis to be able to franchise. Or you may say, you know what? I'm getting pretty good at this. And I've got a, a team of people that are good at operating whatever my business is. Let's keep it in the family. Let's keep doing it ourselves. But then you're in a perfect position to be able to do it. So I really think that that, that three unit, that three attempt opportunity is the lowest possible bar that you need to be able to chin before you start to actually consider franchising.